Hi guys, my name is Oksana and you are on my channel Blaise Me More. If you are interested in making such a cute little pug, stay with me. This pug is around uh, 9 cm long and around 8 cm wide in such a sitting position. It can be a cute keychain or it can be a bag charm. Or it can be just a sweet gift to a pug owner or just a doggy lover. This pug consists of uh, 10 parts and as you can see I used two different yarn so with different texture and these are two different colors. I'm going to give you some suggestions in the yarn choices for um, this particular uh, pattern. For this pack, I was using um, yarn art jeans. Unfortunately, I don't have the label. It was the last skein of yarn. Um, alternatively, you can go for um, Alize Cotton Gold. It's like almost identically the same uh, content and the um, thickness of the thread. So I could say they're interchangeable. Or you can use any yarn you have, but preferably half cotton. The fluffy yarn I was using is um, Alize Baby Softy. Um, I also don't have a label, but the substitute, the closest, could be um, this yarn, uh, Baby Chenille and um, Lion Brand. Let's get cozy, Chenille Appeal. Um, they are more or less, um, have the same kind of fluffiness. Well, I could say that this is uh, the uh, thinnest so if you want your pack to be smaller go for it if you want it to be slightly bigger so go for this one and originally I made it in uh, um, softy Alize baby softy so the eyes I chose is um, 10 millimeters I think um, as pack usually packs they have big eyes so I decided to make uh, big ones it can be even bigger but I felt that yeah this is like optimum size or maybe you can just use some beads as an alternative as for the hook I was using my 3mm uh, millimeter hook it's ideal for both types of yarn the fluffy one and half cotton since um, the stitches with the fluffy yarn are not easily visible I've decided that I will record this video tutorial on how to assemble um, all the parts, how to sew them uh, together in such a um, beautiful result. A written pattern in PDF is available in my Etsy store, which is also called Plies Me More, like my YouTube channel. You guys can benefit with 20% discount as I'm giving you a coupon code, which is BUG20. Bug 20 and you will get a um, pattern with 20% discount and here you are getting um, a free video on assembling all the parts of the bug and getting the result that you will like because sometimes it can be really challenging once you have all your parts already made uh, but maybe once you um, approach the stage when you need to sew where to uh, place upper lower so as also it influences the uh, result because each small uh, detail contributes to the final look we'll start with the head first as you see i uh, didn't stuff it uh, because i like to um, sew the parts the facial ones uh, once you know I can manipulate and like put my finger inside and take the needle out so uh, we will assume that this is the front and here this end will be the back part because also here you see um, the bug has cheeks so we need to make sure that it's just in the middle but yeah it is so we will um, so the muzzle and stuff it a little bit once we're about to um, close the uh, circle personally i always find it's cuter when the muzzle um is like low and closer to the neck that's why i placed it this way so i still have like one row for sewing the head to the neck and the muzzle is here and then we can just um sew it 
do not try to stretch it uh, too up because we are going to put a filler inside. Right, so uh, make sure that your cheeks are from the sides, so it's all symmetrical. And we will stuff um, a bit our muzzle and then we'll just sew it till the end. And also it always looks uh, more neat if we make two rounds in the um, stitches which were like missed or like, yeah. So, um, but it's up to you. I will see whether I will make one more or I'll just keep it this way. Yeah, definitely we don't need more. Make sure that it's homogeneous and don't stretch also too much because we don't want the uh, holes between the loops uh, be visible from the uh, tension we create. Since my end of the yarn is still long, so I'll make one more round. And also in, in case I need to uh, reshape something, so I'll have this chance. But so far it's, it's good the way it is. I made two rounds and all my sewing I always finish with the knot from inside. Okay, secure. Uh, before we sew the nose, uh, we are going to insert the safety eyes. So to make sure uh, where the center is based on the muzzle and the uh, safety eyes. Uh, well, I like uh, making big distance. Um, even in my titties because I feel <laughs> that way um, everything looks cuter so that's how we're going to make it and don't forget to lock the eyes it's very easy to do so once we still haven't stuffed the head from inside now it's time to sew the nose. Um, I found some acrylic yarn I have, so it really doesn't matter. Um, so let's make um, doggy's nose. So here you see the nose is also uh, very close to the top. So we'll make it. Usually I don't cut the yarn because um, I'm not sure maybe this thread will be not enough and I will need some more. Um, I think it should be okay. So now the face is changing from the duck looking to some alpaca looking, but no worries, still <laughs> we're in the process. So now it's time just to make one line here, um, it can be a little bit longer or a little bit shorter, maybe uh, like this. Can pull it, can just, if it's too wide, can shape it a little bit. Yeah, you know, each one um, looks slightly different, but well, oh, it's still um, too early to judge. Okay, and now we are going to stuff it. So this is how it looks um, stuffed. Now it will be our time for um, sewing the ears. And meanwhile, I'm recording this video. I want to show you my balcony and the guests. The guests watching me from everywhere. Cocky. Let's continue.
So what is the idea behind the ears? Uh, it's just we are going to um, sew it from this part and this part. See? This one connected and this one. And here you see we have distance. And make one knot we fold it and we pass it to the other side mm. okay like somewhere here Okay, and we make a knot. And the same we need to repeat with the second ear, so make sure that it's all um, symmetrical. And it also can vary, you know, like um, the way you um, connect it or the distance you choose. I finished the second ear and well it looks um, very funny but in a cute way <laughs> um, yeah well it's identically the same pattern but here the ears were placed slightly different now it's time to stuff our body as you can see the body um, is smaller than the head so that was the idea behind it Uh, we will sew the body to the head and um, also we need to make sure that there is enough um, stuffing in the area of the neck so maybe we'll need to add um, in the process but anyway it's supposed to be something small we shouldn't also overstuff it so we're going to connect it like a puzzle so here we have somewhere here And we'll just repeat one stitch down, one stitch up, down, at this stage uh, we are going to connect the legs, so yeah it will be like it's sitting. So we are going to um, sew it like uh, vertically, yeah, from both sides in symmetrical way. So I see it like, yep, doing like this. Okay. So it's a little bit, um, maybe like behind the ear. So the belly will be um, slightly bigger than the back. So um, we can make um, a knot and if we wish we can also sew it um, way up. It's very optional but since I have some yarn left and I really like it to be uh, neat and tidy so I'll make a couple stitches up make a knot and hide it inside Okay. Yeah, so in a symmetrical way, the same idea. We'll sew it from the other side. And 
and it's fine that here um like it's a distance because still we'll need to uh put our uh, front pose so you see they must be here in between so they will kind of cover the distance so this is our chubby boy and we will now connect the front pose yeah so like maybe one stitch um, below the neck So depends um you can make it um slightly closer to the middle or with a bit of a distance just mini variations this bug has a bigger distance between poles but still sits fine and looks cute or you can make it um a smaller distance and closer pose now uh, what is missing is a tail so we'll now um, sew the tail. So we'll probably do it like with one stitch. Our pack is almost done. So um here um i decided to add pinky um hair bow no just a chain and um i guess here i had all slip stitches and it goes through the <laughs> through the ears but here for a variety uh we can make it to be a leash a blue one so it is a simple chain um as long as we need for the um, neck of our pug so we'll be measuring I made a chain um, of 26 at first I made 21 but because I was going back with slip stitches it became shorter so to be safe I made 26 and just uh, way back I'm going to crochet um, slip stitches all way back so don't make it too tight um, I didn't choose single crochet stitch because the distance here is very small and plus we're making something you know miniature so that's why um, I prefer um, slip stitches um, right 26 stitches is good so you see not too tight so he's not he'll not be choking um, we will just connect um, in regular way so I pass the ends with a needle a little bit I will cut the rest stretch it yoohoo our pack is all ready if you want you can also make a bow um, okay just a crochet a mini rectangle and put it here I think it will be so cute um, you can alternatively um, add a bell or maybe you will add a further something cute like a big pompon or a big bell and it would be so nice to be a bag charm or a cute keychain now we have two sweet little pugs and i hope you enjoyed this uh, video tutorial of assembling this cutie so don't forget to put like subscribe to my channel uh, because many more videos are yet to come bye bye guys <laughs>